Hey, tequila again from Southern Twang. This is thrift haul number two. Let's jump right into it. Today I went to some yard sales. I got up this morning and I just did it guys. I just did it. I had my Starbucks coffee, my Frappuccino actually, and I was good. So I want to tell you first where I went. I went to St. Simon's Island to do a little um, yard sailing and I also went to a couple of communities here in Brunswick. So let me show you the first thing I got were these pair of, what are these? Timberland, Timberland shoes. I have a thing for leather. I love leather shoes, leather sofas, as you can see, leather purses. Leather lasts for a very long time, and that is why I got these. These cost me $1, and I think that's a great deal. Women's sandals. Now, keep in mind that everything I have here is raw. Nothing has been cleaned, polished, or anything. You're seeing it in the raw state before I clean it and list it on my eBay website. And I am going to show you the next pair. <laughs> the next pair that I have here are a pair of Crocs. They are very dirty, very grimy, but they won't be for long. Crocs are the most, some of the most comfortable shoes that I have ever owned. And I think a lot of women share that same sentiment. I think I paid $2 for those. Here I have a pair of Massimo shoes. They have little gems on them. I think that's very cute for someone who's into that. These are like a little flannel type deal. These were $3. I believe I talked them down to 2 Pop quiz. Massimo. What store carries the Massimo brand? Ding, ding, ding. Time is up. The answer is Target. Remember, you have to know your brands so that you know what value to assign to your items besides doing your comps. Again, we have a pair of Massimo shoes. These are the Espadrilles. I hope I'm saying that right. They have the little hemp or jute at the bottom. This is a little faux leather at the tips. And they are made out of a suede or suede-like material here. Got those for, I believe these were 25 cents. These came from a different yard sale. 25 cents. Why someone would sell their things for 25 cents, I don't understand, but I just thank them for it. Next here, I have a pair of Borns. These are real leather <clears throat> Borns, the clogs. These are very popular with me. I love the style. Half in, half out. <laughs> Those were 25 cents as well. Yes, I'm saving the best pair of shoes for last because I want you guys to be wowed at how good I am with finding deals. Yes. These came from St. Simon's Island. They're just a pair of Liz Claiborne. Um, clogs or mules, however you want to say them. Leather as well. Very dirty. Mm -hmm. I have another pair of born leather mules. These will sell. Hopefully. If not, I may end up wearing them. No, I won't because they're too big. And I have a pair of men's Clarks. These are slip-ons. Very dirty as well, but they'll be cleaned up. These go, um, well, I won't say what they go for, because I don't know off the top of my head, but they, they're leather, so they will sell as well. And last of the shoes, but definitely not least, when I saw these beauties, I said, oh my gosh, like I just looked at them and I tried them on and they were too big. Crushed my spirit. And then the price, I'm like, I'm not going to pay that much. This is a yard sale. I got in my car and I thought about it. I got on eBay and I'm like, let me go back in here because I will regret not getting these. These are a pair of authentic Pradas. Oh my gosh, my first pair of Pradas and I have to sell them. The, let me tell you guys, this leather here is so darn soft and supple. The shoe just bends. It's very, very comfortable on your foot. Um, these were 10 bucks, 10 bucks only. And they're so beautiful. I love gold. 
gold and leather together. Gosh, I wish I could fit these. And on the bottom, they have the Prada, uh, the logo, whatever you want to call it. But I did comps on these on eBay, and I believe they go for like $60. Um, I'll try to get somewhere around that range for these. I paid $10. I mean, you can't beat that. Here, these are just a pair of Old Navy um, Clover pajama pants. A little late for St. Patrick's Day, but um, I got them nonetheless. The less. Okay. We have an Express shirt. It's cute. It's a tank top, kind of racer back kind of deal. Bling in the back. Bling in the back. Bling in the back. These were, this was $2, $2. And I forgot to mention that those four leaf clover pajama pants were only 50 cents. This girl knows how to shop, yes she does. And one more thing. This is very cute. This is a, um, a Gap canvas bag, a duffel bag, very big. Um, this I paid just $1 for. That is an absolute steal. And it comes at the perfect time because my son will be going on a little trip with his school. And I'll wash his baby up and throw his things right on in it. Now, I know you've been looking at my outfit. I know you just want me to do this. This shirt makes you want to do that. I'm going to do it again. Thank you. This shirt is thrifted from the Goodwill. I love colorful things and it feels so nice. It's very sheer. I just want to show you guys that not only am I a thrifter, but I also wear thrifted items whenever I can find them in my style and my size. So I want to thank you for joining me for the second episode of my thrift haul won't be the last. Come back again. Don't forget to subscribe, to like, leave your questions and your comments down below. I'll get back to you. And this has been another thrift haul, the Southern Twang Way. Thank you.